be showing you how to install a shaft for any wedge, iron, or uh, T-club, like a hybrid wood or driver. The first step when doing this is to make sure that the shaft is prepped. I do this by, um, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Sanding belts uh, is probably the, the tour version of this, but I just use some, uh, I don't know what grit this is, but it's something like 80 or 80 or something like that. And I'll just make sure that this shaft is prepped. So when it's, once you have it prepped like this, um, and by the way, I, this is the shaft that I used to show you how to do a tip weight. So the, make sure the inside of the shaft is clean if you haven't done so already. And then finally, uh, if there's any epoxy uh, built up in the hosel of the club head, you can drill it out with the drill. Um, so in this case, there's nothing in there really but you would just take a drill bit and drill that out. But since I don't have anything built up in there, I'm just going to take one last uh, cleaning, make sure that there's nothing in there still. After you've cleaned both the shaft and the club head, you need to put the ferrule on the shaft, which you need to make sure that the ferrule fits the shaft correctly. This is a 0.33 or uh, yeah, 0.335 taper tip shaft, and this is a 0.335 taper tip ferrule, so they match. You put this on just like that. Um, some ferrules won't slide on quite as well as this one did, but if if that happens, you'll just want to kind of hit it on the ground like that or you can use a heat gun to get it down better so now I'll put it put it like that and you want to hit it on the ground so I don't know probably couldn't hear that too well and how you know that you've got this um, all the way to the end is there will be like a clicking sound when you hit it like that so I, I'm sorry I can't really demonstrate that too well but make sure that the shaft is all the way into the club head and the next step is to epoxy everything together Mix the epoxy up, and it's actually a, a quick trick that you can do is put some just regular sugar in this epoxy, just a tiny pinch, and then mix that in there. That acts as like a shafting bead, which will hold the club, club together a lot better. All right, so we got the epoxy mixed. Put it on the end of the shaft here. some epoxy in the club head and then finally insert the shaft there will be a little bit of overflow as you probably know by now so spray a paper towel with acetone and wipe that all off Now the final step when you uh, install a, a shaft is to clean up the ferrule and this doesn't happen every time you uh, reshaft something but sometimes the ferrule will actually kind of, um, it, it won't be completely flush with the club head so the ferrule will be raised above there so what you want to do 
then is take a cloth, not a paper towel because that gets ripped up when you do this, but take a cloth, spray it with acetone, and then just go in a circle here. And what this does is it, it actually grinds, not grinds, but um, it lowers, I, I don't really know how to explain it exactly, but it makes the ferrule flush with the club head. So just work that until, um, until you see that it's flush. And make sure that you always have the, the towel wet, otherwise it's going to make the ferrule, um, like right here, it's kind of rough now because I didn't keep it wet enough. So what I would do is spray it again and then clean up that part. And that's how you install a shaft.